To install Flare VM, first you need to create a virtual machine. Using Oracle VirtualBox, you install Windows 7 64-bit. And the setting is you give it 4, 4 MB of RAM and the storage, you give it 75 gig storage. After you've done that, you start your VirtualBox and go to, if you want, you can install Google Chrome and then use Google Chrome to go to this GitHub for FlyVM and download. Click this, download the zip file. You unzip the zip file into your C drive over here. Flare VM Master. So this is where you put it. And then before that, the instructions on the Flare VM website says you can follow the instructions here. How to install. So over here it tells you the first thing you do is you need to download the zip file, uncompress it, and then change to the directory where you decompress the zip file. And you must set this execution policy unrestricted. That means you need to open your your window PowerShell, right click your your Windows PowerShell and then right click run as administrator it has to be administrator and then you once you're there you go to your directory where you install where you unzip your flare so let's go there And then over here, and you have your thing, all your files that you unzip, and then you execute this command. Set execution policy unrestricted. All right, you execute that command inside the PowerShell. Inside here, execute the command, and then after that, you can run the installation script, which is install dot ps one. So this file, run the script, install one dot ps1. Um, before that, it says here that you need to update your PowerShell. So your PowerShell needs to be this version. You don't need to update net 4.5. You can try if you want. If it's already recent enough, current enough then it will tell you you don't need to up update but for this you need to most probably so you right click this and open and download so when you click download you get a few things you can choose choose this one so when you, after downloading this you go to your folder download folder unzip it and then run this program and it will update your windows with uh, PowerShell and your PowerShell will be PowerShell 5.1 this is a command to check your PowerShell so after your PowerShell is already updated then only you execute uh, the rest of the command which I explained earlier so it's important to update PowerShell first before you execute any of this uh, installation script so it will take a few hours I think to install everything so once you finish install you get this thing on the desktop and you must make sure you make a snapshot often go here take snapshot and then you snapshot as you can see I've got a few snapshots here so that's all for this video thank you for watching